to help so i don't know how he just came up with an idea of stealing so he was pushed inside there i don't know. Jana has finally slept. It was so difficult for me to do that, to do this um, video with her because she was making a lot of noise. And recently, I stopped her from breastfeeding. I think it was on 18th, and situations made me do some. I missed breastfeeding for two days, and then I was like, people were like, it came up with scary stories. So I decided, why not? Let me just stop her and we managed. I pulled that out though. It was so hectic. It was very difficult, but I just had to do. Right now, she has already even forgotten about the nyonyo and all that. She's here asleep. Nowadays, she normally wakes up early, escorts her sisters to school, and then she comes back and she come back and i always avoid her to sleep during the day because when she sleeps during the day at night it will be so hectic it will be so scary so avoid sleeping during the day so that at night she will sleep so quick so guys i wanted to tell you this like this word is so cruel and yesterday in the evening i decided to go we decided to go somewhere and then we passed by the mall to get our daily um our, our daily stuffs like nowadays we normally do daily stuffs and all that just topping up because doing the bulky and maybe end month or that uh shopping is becoming difficult so nowadays we normally do daily we buy our stuffs like on daily basis so yesterday we passed by the mall that is naivas so in the evening people are always full like people are rushing to get bread to get milk to get, to get vegetables to get stuffs to get home with you know the mall was full by the way it was naivas it was very full 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 
in fact we queued for 20 almost 20 minutes before we got served so while we were there queuing waiting for waiting to be served um we saw someone <laughs> like muzi alishikwa someone caught stealing red handed i don't know if it's red handed or ready handed anyways you can tell me in the comment section so si tukaona mtu anarudishwa hivi na with those security men and then he was holding um cooking cooking oil salad and the matter of fact it was the most expensive cooking oil ever that is elianto and it was i think it was 3 if I saw it properly, it was three liters. So he stole it and then he put it in the jacket. But you guys, how could he have thought that there are no cameras there? Like a big mall like that in a supermarket. How can you even steal in a supermarket? People were full. I don't know where he got the courage. I don't know where he got the guards. You guys, I know the economy is really hard, but where this was so, it was overboard. Like it was overboard. And malls have like 24-7 cameras. And then they have securities. And then nowadays, um, I see policemen in malls, in civilians. So when you mess, they can, they can, they easily hijack you. So I don't know how this guy thought of stealing. And the mall was having a lot of people i was like where did he even get the courage where did he even get the guts and then i started thinking of his family because he was a man in fact he was looking so good wearing glasses and i was like maybe he's just from job and then maybe the wife called and she was like we don't have a uh, cooking oil or that and then he decided let me just make my way here and come out with some cooking oil elianto the most expensive cooking oil ever you guys i felt pity for him because i really don't know what drove him to stealing because as you know if you're kenyan you understand how the economy is right now but that one cannot push you to stealing you'd rather go to the streets and be a beggar you know because we still have kind people out there who are willing to help so i don't know how he just came up with an idea of stealing so he was pushed inside there i don't know what they went to do with him but Harvey was like maybe an agenda policy right now because nowadays we have policemen everywhere even not in uniform they're just in civilian you mess up they hijack you quickly so that is what happened yesterday i felt so pity for him i started thinking of his family i started thinking of his wife and then i was like oh my goodness when the the news reaches the wife or, or, or the mother or the the siblings like itakuaje but anyways nowadays people are going through a lot things are happening people are going through frustrations people are going they are so stressed up some end up Keep committing suicide and all that but that is not the solution you'd rather go out there and be a beggar how to cost at a so how to cost a fifth how to cost your cooking oil how to cost like unga ya kukula rather than going to a mall and stealing at angenda he could have gone to a kibandaski but a mall you guys a mall like the courage i was like oh my goodness where did he get the courage and then he picks he puts it here and then he wants to walk out without paying. And then, by the way, he walked out through the, the paying us. Uh, what are they called? Kowale cashiers. Ali Peter too. And then one of the cashiers who was serving us saw, saw him. So when they pulled him back, he was like, Mimi ni mimuona kipita tu And then I was like, she's he's not going anywhere because the cameras are everywhere. By the way, in a mall, cameras are everywhere. You cannot do anything and go scot-free. So that is what happened yesterday, you guys. I was I felt pity for him. And again, you guys keep on checking on your beloved ones and always play, pray, play, always pray for your partners when they go out. Men are passing through a lot and they are not even telling their wives, they are not even telling their partners. Like when I let you kid and then you're like imenunuliwa, all that. That's a you angefaulu and then the wife is like, Oh, a cooking oil is here or mafuta ya kupika iko hapa but deep inside 
this man has gone through hell to get that so always pray for them and if you have a problem share they normally say a problem shared is a half solved so why keep quiet and die with depression anyways i just wanted to share that story with you and tell you how <laughs> how i felt pity for him anyways Right now, Siji wali maliza aje, and by that time, I had not, I had not carried my phone. My phone was on low battery, so I left it in the house charging, so I could have captured that for you. But anyways, it will be so bad. Hmm. Okay. So that is what we wanted to share, you guys. Yesterday, I made some um broiler. We really hate. We don't do that here, but I made it in my own way as you have seen and it was very sweet. It was the sweetest. I think um, uh, broiler chicken is best when you you what, 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 how can I put it? It's best when you roast it rather than doing as a stew. It's sweet when you roast it. But for me, I'm just lazy when it comes to, to, to baking and doing all that oven things. I'm just lazy. But it's high time I get used to it. So, thank you so much guys for watching this video. I really appreciate If you haven't subscribed, kindly consider subscribing. Like this video, share me out and also drop a comment in the comment section and I'll be seeing you on my next video. In the rain. Some kind of butterfly